Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm here to do a little savings challenge fun with some cash tips from last night. Where did they come from? How did I get this cash money? We'll go into all the things, but before I get counting, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amanda. I'm 34 years old. I live in Oregon. I'm an all cash budgeter. I do cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, all on a low income. I do work an hourly wage job. My husband works an hourly wage job. We do get tips at our work. We work in the food industry. We work specifically in pizza right now. Um, we also do a lot of gig working. Um, I am a entrepreneur of many sorts. I have a lot of little side hustles that I do. So, Let's get into the savings portion of this video. Um, also, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I appreciate you, especially my originals. Um, this money is kind of crumbly today, and that's okay. It is what it is. We have our accordion with all of our savings challenges, and we have our savings challenges to color in. So let's go ahead and get our cash tray, wherever that may be. Maybe I don't have it. I don't think I have it. So five, 10, $15, let's straighten out this money a little bit. So it is the day before the last day of October. How do you guys feel about that? Like, how do you feel about October being over? Are you ready for Christmas? Are you ready for Thanksgiving? Um, how are you feeling about your overall year? I feel like this year has been, ooh, that's a bad looking one. This year has been interesting. Um, so we have $15 in fives. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen dollars and ones so not a whole lot to work with this came from the football craze that came into work and we did pretty well on in inside tips however <laughs> the other day i did a little delivery at my work and i cannot confirm nor, nor deny that i may have screamed freedom out the window as I drove out of the parking lot. I really liked it. It it was awesome. I liked it a lot. I'm going to skip the pumpkin spice challenge. Some of these I'm trying to stretch out through the holidays that are fall. So that way I have something to do. Even though, you know, I could go to being creative and, and make some things. But... I haven't had a lot of time on my hand, so, or on my hands, hand. <laughs> Only have one hand. Um, I am going to go ahead and do my Christmas gingerbread roll. This is an item in my shop. Most of these challenges were made by me. Other challenges, I'll let you know if I didn't make them. Um, but let's go ahead and get our fancy dice out. We can blow on it for good luck. <laughs> All right. Two. So two is going to be six dollars. That's not too bad. This is going towards some gifts for Christmas. I do have some ideas on how I'm going to be getting Christmas money, but this is just one fun way to save. All right, should we roll one more time? Yep, let's do it. Actually, wait a minute. Urch, hold on. We're going to color this two in. I could have done way better with coloring in some of these. Some of these I did a really terrible job, but that's okay. Because it's not about the coloring, it's about the saving and the what it's going towards. I have been racking my brain on what I'm going to be doing for future savings. I don't want to stifle myself. I don't want to feel... Like, I'm very pushed, but at the same time, I know things have to happen in order for things to get better, right? So sometimes just jumping off that diving board will help. 
All right, so let's go ahead and roll again a four. So four is going to be $12. Ooh, this is gonna go fast. $12. I need to, I'm gonna organize that in a second. Four. So how do you guys, how do you guys plan on saving for Christmas? Like what, what is your ultimate goal? Like, do you have a set amount that you try to save every single year? Like I, I try to save just enough to get us by, you know, on some things, but it's, it's been hard. The last few years have been kind of hard. Ooh, this pen is awful. I need to just throw that away. It has to go away. The last few years have been awful for us for planning ahead on holidays. Usually I try to take on some sort of amount that seems doable. In the past, I have gone and blown a lot of money on holidays. I love the holidays. To me, it's the one time we can all get together and actually do something fun um, and I don't get to see everybody all year round, right? I mean, because I'm working all the time and maybe they're coming in from out of town. Um, I feel like I also don't spend enough time with my kids now that they're getting older. I don't know if I put in that $12. Yes, I did because the fives. So let's make sure that this is somewhat organized. Oh, we got some fives up in here. But in prior years, when I thought that I had to be bougie and buy everybody all these gifts and things, I would spend way over my budget. Now, back in those days, I was making a lot less an hour. Um, I was working at fast food chains. One time we took, my ex and I took a $800 check of mine, which I think I was making like nine something an hour. So I worked a lot, a lot of hours to get that 800 bucks and uh, we blew it all on Christmas and, you know, I was just dumb, young and didn't have a clue, you know, and, and a lot of it was I wanted to impress, impress people maybe I don't even like, you know, it, it is what it is. So 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. Woohoo! We can afford the Sonic game. You know, we can we can definitely afford the Sonic game now for one of my kiddos. So that's exciting. Let's go ahead and get on to the next one. If you hear some noises in the background, I have dog next to me. Um, let's see. I wish we would have continued with this, but my husband put the kibosh on this. So I might re-sticker it and do it another time. I think it turned out really pretty. Um, what do we have? We have ones left. Let's go into our ultimate shit fund challenge. I've been adding to this challenge off camera because I already got my emergency fund, my minimum emergency fund, and now I'm just trying to get on with, you know, getting everything else going. Um, so this is going to be like an, an oh, oh no fund. Um, so let's go ahead and add some funds into this. We might just go ahead and add the rest of this in here. Maybe, we'll see. So let's go ahead, you know what? I'm not going, I'm gonna stretch it out. So we're gonna add three into here and I will be back when I'm done coloring. All right, you guys, I am back. I'm going to go ahead and count this out. We went and colored in these two. So 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. And this is going to just go into the emergency fund envelope. So 
It's just a little way to go ahead and save some more. The total of this challenge will be $385. Get down, there we go. All right. Now what's next? What's next? And I just, I'm not gonna let you, I'm gonna let you guys know. I'm not really all that organized. I just like throw it back in there at some point. The ones in the back are just extra envelopes for challenges I haven't started yet. Um, let's go ahead and see. It's gonna drive me crazy. Let's see here. How much do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. And then we have two dollars. What am I gonna do? Hmm. Question is, what am I gonna do? Let's do one of these. Let's go ahead and get a little bit on the crazy side. Let's continue to scratch. You guys, I did not know this was double-sided. Last time I did not know. <laughs> I thought I had 10 cents. I have 10 cents floating around. I didn't want to grab from the jar again. All right, let's go ahead and work some magic. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Let's go to this one. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have a lonely, cruddy looking dollar left. That's okay. I think I have a little extra cash in this pouch. I'm not 100% sure. Ah, yes, I have another five. Let's get risky with it. All right, we have six more dollars. Da -da -da -da. What are we gonna do? Let's see. Ha, I didn't even need the five. We have a one. One more, one more. Let's just do one more. I say, I also tell myself that internally while I am doing gig work. I'm like, just one more, Amanda, one more. And that's how I get where I'm at. So, what is it? Oh, that's a one, too. So, we have a one. I'm going to do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh, $9. Let's see what we have. So we have a five. And then I have another five. Let's take this curly dollar back. Oh well. We didn't we didn't lose in any way, shape, or form. We didn't go over. This is just extra cash that we had lying around from tips. So I may or may not have <laughs> delegated some of my husband's tips elsewhere. You know, not, not too many dollars. He won't be so sad. By the way, you guys, he has a savings cup. He he got a he had a mug that I got him uh, a couple of years ago from um I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's a uh Scooby Doo cup. And he's been putting like he'll take if he gets like $87, he'll take the $2 and throw it in the cup. And that's his little way of saving. So he's trying. So I'm going to give him E for effort on that. And I like to see that he's excited about that. Um, I offered to make him a little challenge or for him to do his own Xbox challenge. But he was like, no, I just like doing it this way. And then he hides his cup where, you know, I know where it is, but you know. No one else does. So we have 20, 25, 26. Wow, really? That just happened to me. So 25, 30, 35, 40, in the scratch off envelope I'm just putting it all together you know it why why not it, it just says scratch offs on it and we're just gonna start doing all the things I'm gonna start scratching this Gilmore Girls challenge as well in the next couple of videos 
Um, I do have a bunch more that I made. I do have some upcoming things that I'm going to be putting in my shop. I know I keep saying that, but I have been really busy. Um, I haven't had a day off in like, I think, a true, true day off where I haven't gone to the store. Um, like the store I work in, I think for at least a month. I'm not sure. But I'm going to go ahead and get some things done. Um, do what you can with what you got because that's all you have to work with and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.